Hello, my most amazing artists. First thing that you will need to do today is put your name on your paper. Please make sure that you write your own name and your teacher's name. Then, after you write your name and your teacher's name on the back of your paper, you are going to flip it over like a pancake so that your names are on the back. Then we're going to get started with our drawing. If you get a little bit lost today, that's okay. Here you have a how to draw pumpkin paper that shows you step by step how to do it if you miss a direction. We are going to start in the very middle of our paper. So you are going to want to find the center or the middle of your page. Then you are going to start with step one, drawing a vertical up and down line. Leave a little room at the top for your pumpkin stem. Then you are going to draw a curve on one side. You're going to match that curve on the other side. Whatever you do to one side of your pumpkin, you're going to do to the other. You'll just keep adding curves until your pumpkin is as large as you want it to be. Then you're going to draw your pumpkin stem. This is kind of like a curved square or rectangle. Now you're going to start adding leaves to the side. These leaves can be any shape that you would like. You can use your example sheet if you need some ideas. You want at least three or four leaves around your pumpkin. When you're done drawing the shape, you could add some of the detail inside or the lines for your leaves. A line in the center or the middle and then lines going out. We are going to be painting our pumpkin today, so we will need to roll up our sleeves so that they don't get paint on them. Then you're going to use your brush. To mix your orange for your pumpkin, you will need to use yellow, your primary color, and a little bit of red, your other primary color, to create your secondary color of orange. You will be drying your brush off when you're finished painting your pumpkin. So just brush your bristles or your hairs of your paintbrush onto the paper plate. Then you can use yellow, a primary color, and a little bit of blue, your other primary, to create your secondary color green. You will mix on your paper, not on the plate. 